Workplace stress has cost countries like the US $300 billion annually. And at a more detailed level, it's cost employees and business owners their happiness. People spend, if not most, a lot of their time working. And I have personally found it very tough to wake up in the morning and head to work, especially if I know I'm not gonna enjoy the day, or I know I'm going to experience a lot of stress. Now, what if I told you that work doesn't have to be stressful? that you don't have to wake up Monday morning dreading the whole week ahead, only looking forward to Friday night where you can go out and relax. That work can actually be a place where you feel happy. Now, of course, this is ideal, and we love talking about ideal things because it means that we can have an idea of what it would take us to actually reach that ideal, and we can try and get as close as we can to it. And so I wanna share with you a few things that can help us get closer to this ideal. Things that I felt like has really helped me and helped a lot of my other mates just feel less stressed when they're at work. And these are the three factors that I wanna share with you. By the way, these three things that I'm gonna share with you, you can look at it like levels, ranging from like the least impactful to the most impactful at reducing stress. So the first one that we have over here is the work itself. Now you want to be doing work that you one, enjoy or that you like, and that two, it fits your skill set. Now, if you are in a career that you dislike and doesn't fit your skill set, that's obviously a very challenging space to be in. So just to kind of give you a better picture of things, have a look at this. Okay, so as I was saying, ideally you want to be in a space where you know you've got the skill set and you actually like what you're doing, and you want to avoid being in this worst space over here where you do not have the skill set, nor do you actually like doing the work. Being in these areas, like the good areas where you don't have the skill set but you like it, or you have the skill set but you dislike it, like these areas are actually okay to be in and just in case you are in this kind of like worst spot that will make a video on like what you can specifically do if you are in this space but for now maybe the next two things that I share with you might actually make a bit of a difference so the next thing that can help really reduce that stress at work is the environment the type of environment that we're working in I kid you not if your workplace doesn't have a nice vibe to it I don't like, oh man, using that word just makes me feel really weird. Vibe, ugh. Isn't that just like the worst word of 2022? Anyway, if your workplace doesn't have a nice feel to it, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to feel like at ease at work. A close friend of mine works as a receptionist at a clinic and the workspace that she used to have looked a little bit like this. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit messy. There's like cabinets, there's files everywhere and it's like really cramped. Now imagine if you spent a little bit of your time and your space looked a little bit more like this. Now I know these are two very different desk setups and to be honest, look, sometimes these things cost money but there's actually so much that you can do without putting in a lot of money. You can get plants, you can just organize things a lot more effectively. Like, what my friend did was, was there were two other offices that weren't in use, but they had like really decent shelving. So she took like the shelvings from those two different offices and then chucked it behind so that everything just looked a whole lot, more, a whole lot neater. I wish I had a picture of it, but like, you get the point. All I want you to start thinking about is now, is now how can you make the workspace that you have a lot more conducive to like just ease for work to like just feeling less stress and like less cramped like very often we feel like the environment that we work in it's like an extension of ourselves if the workspace that we have is messy unclean and dirty then it's a little bit like how we can feel inside as well whereas if we clean the outside make sure it's really nice and neat we too can also feel really nice and neat the DNA of a company is its culture in fact i'd go so far as to say that it is what defines the company you can absolutely love the work that you're doing. In fact, you could even be in a decent environment, but if the people or the culture, or kind of like, kind of the same thing because the people make the culture, but like, if that is not like good, if it's not healthy, if it's not, you know, like fostered around building your potential and like making you feel good in a space, then like you're gonna have some challenges. My good mate Natisha, you're gonna meet in just a second, used to work at a company as a photographer where the environment wasn't great at all. It was like in a basement and he was also doing a lot of repetitive work. Like he was just taking photos. But more importantly, like the work culture itself was just what he would describe in his words as He's now working at the Man Cave as a videographer and editor. And this is what he has to say about the people and the culture. Natish, thank you so much for joining me, man. And it's like, it's really awesome to have you in this video. And I think the people want to know, like, how do you find working now at the Man Cave in comparison to where you were before, man? Okay, so the workplace I used to work before was like a lot stressful. Mm. And now that I'm working at the Man Cave, 
it's like the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. It's not stressful. People are so lovely, and I really enjoy working there. And work doesn't feel like stressful anymore. So mm -hmm. it's like the complete opposite, and I love it. Yeah, I think you were also mentioning as well, like you know, sometimes it, it can be like a really big workload. Sometimes it's very hectic. Yeah, but I still don't feel the pressure. Yeah, because I enjoy the work. Yeah, so it's really lovely there. Oh, sweet! Thank yeah. you, so, thank you so much, man. It's like it's, it's really like uh, I, I I've also seen like how you've changed a mm -hmm. lot as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, cool, sweet. So in essence, people and culture almost go above everything. Like if you can find the space where you know the people and the culture is just amazing, and you kind of just like really fit in and you enjoy it, but uh, there's a good chance that that's going to filter down to the work that you do itself. Like even things that you don't like doing, can, you can actually start enjoying it just because you're surrounded by an environment and a people and a culture that is just healthy and like is supporting you in your work. And as I was saying at the start of this video, a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in here is ideal and I get it, I know. Because for a lot of us, we may not be able to change things. One, because we might have a mortgage or you know we've got a family to support, so it might be hard to kind of like factor all these things in. And I get that, I understand. But if we can somehow have control of these things and like to any extent, even if it's just a slight little amount more control and like try to expand it even further, then we can actually start making a difference and start feeling less stressed at work. So there you have it. Those are three ways that you can feel less stressed. By the way, if you're interested in how I stay productive while working and studying, check out this video over here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.